Jumping jacks, right? People, people down, downplay jumping jacks. It's a great way to make sure you get your body warmed up. It works just about every part of your body. Your shoulders get warmed up. Your legs get warmed up. Your heart rate gets elevated. So when you're warming up, I suggest you incorporate jump, jumping jacks as part of your regular warm-up. We do jumping jacks, front kicks, uh, stretches, squat stretches as part of our normal warm-up, but we never hesitate to include jumping jacks as a good way to make sure that A, we get warmed up, and that B, all of our limbs have been moving enough before we get into the real weightlifting that we do regularly in our workouts. All right, guys, knees to elbows, one of my favorites for overall core development and ab development. Again, when you bring your legs or knees towards your upper body, that's primarily a lower ab working exercise, right? When you bring your torso or your upper body towards your lower body, as in a crunch, that's an upper ab exercise typically. So the knees to elbows, because you're going to be bringing your knees to your elbows, your legs are coming up, that's lower. Your upper body and elbows are going towards your legs, that's upper. So it's the overall ab developing exercise that I love and enjoy. So open your body all the way up on the bottom and then bring your knees up and crunch towards your elbows. Here we go. In four, open up your whole body. Three, two, one. <laughs> What are you drinking? Ketones. Ketones and BCAs. That's the key. Fasting, ketones, BCAs. Let's go bicycles, guys. I love bicycles because, again, they work the obliques, right? They love handles. The I used to be in love handles. All we're doing simply here is hands behind your head without pulling your neck, right? So you're not really pulling on your head. Your hands are just placed there. You want to twist your elbows and drive them toward the opposite knee, right? Maximize the leg movement on that leg so that you're, you're making the, the oblique work as much as possible. If you shorten that movement with the leg, with the knee bend, your oblique is not forced to work as much. So really open up the leg each time and then bend it each time, maximizing the movement of that leg. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. Here we go. Six. Good job, you guys. Four. Twist. Three. Twist. Two. One. All right, guys, plank crosses, an advanced movement for the obliques, right, overall core development, okay? So what you want to do, this one's hard to do on your elbows, so you're almost forced to do this one from all fours with your hands down, not your elbows. All you're going to do is twist, right, your right knee over to your opposite elbow, toward the elbow. It's hard to hit the elbow, but you want to move your knee toward that elbow and then switch legs. So it's right knee over to left elbow and then left knee over to right elbow with a nice twist. Keep the hips up, right? Keep the lower back safe and twist slowly. Don't rush these. You wanna really twist and be conscious of the squeezing and tightening of each oblique muscle. So right to left and then left to right and continue in three and two and one. All right, guys, now Russian twist. You want to lean back, right? Knees are bent. If you can't have your feet off the ground, that's a more advanced version of it. So lean back. You want to twist, right, slowly at first. You can go a little faster as you get better at it. Elbows toward the ground, right? So if you have a ball in your hand or a dumbbell in your hand, you want to lead with the elbow still, not the hands, right? If you're, if you're going to do a modified version, you can lead with your hands. But as you get better, you want to lead with the elbow. Twist, twist twist your body your knees and your legs will go opposite your hands naturally uh, as a balancing mechanism that's fine so you want to twist 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 lean back the better you are if your back hurts you, you get more upright and lean less what are you drinking ketones ketones and bcas 
That's the key. Fasting, ketones, BCAs.